Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about document templates in SharePoint document libraries. So whenever you create a new document from a SharePoint document library, it actually starts with a blank document. But you might have a requirement where you have a document library for certain type of documents and you have a proper format for those documents or document templates. And you want your users to basically use those templates to create any documents so that you have a standard format and standard reports within your document libraries. Let's go and have a look how to actually achieve that. So I currently have this document template, which is a project status report. And this report might be created fortnightly or monthly or weekly, depending upon your requirements. So we want our users or project managers to basically use this document to create, you know, uh, ongoing status reports. So let's go back to the SharePoint document library. So we have this document library. So, and let's say you basically store or, you know, create all of your document reports in this particular document library. So when your users or, um, you know, your project managers basically click on new and click on word document, it basically creates or gives them a blank document to start with. But that is not what we actually want to do. We want them to basically use the template that has been created so that we have the standard reports created, right? So let's go back to our document library. Now, in order to do that, um, obviously you need to have your um, template created. So I already have the template created, which I just showed previously. Now to add that template into your um, SharePoint document library, all you have to do is basically have to click on new and then click on add template. And once you click on add template, it's basically going to ask you which document or template that you want to use. So I already have this document created. I'm going to select it and click open. Once I do that, it's now actually going to upload that document. Now that document which is uploaded, you won't see that in your document library. But if you click on the new menu again, you will see that there is a project status report um, which has been uploaded. So if your users click on that project status report, then it's basically going to open up a new document for them based on the template, uh, which is pre-configured, which you have provided to your users. Yeah. So here is our project status report. So all your project managers or your users have to do it. Basically change the project name from there. Let's just say this is X, Y, Z. And they can change all other values, right? Once that's done, it's auto saved. They can um, cross this. And when you come back, you will see that there is a new document created, right? Obviously you can rename the document or whenever you try to save the document, you can change the name of the document, right? So if I click on that document again, and um, when it basically opens, we can see that, that our uh, project name that we have selected has been basically updated into that document. So here we go. So we can see that, you know, this is the same document that we just modified. So by doing this, not only you can actually update or add your Word documents, you can create document templates for your um, Excel sheets, you can create for PowerPoint slides. So, you know, depending upon your requirements, whether you have a reports library or, um, you know, some contractual documents or business cases, you can basically create all those documents. Um, you can also, if you go to new menu, you can click on the edit new menu. And if you want, you can basically hide all the other documents um, so that the blank documents are not created. And we can actually move this to the top as well. We can 
click on move up or we can simply drag and drop this to the top of the menu and then we can click on save so whenever you click on the new menu now you can see that the project status report is at the top and then we don't have the blank word document which your users could actually create okay so that's how you can actually create or add uh, document templates in your shop sharepoint document libraries um, i hope you like the video don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have any comments please put them below in the comment section and i hope to see you again thanks for watching